What's going on, my fro force? You're chill with Pokemon Books, and we are back for another part of Let's Play Bravely Second Blind. Now, before we get to the episode today, we actually have something we need to take care of, according to a couple people in the comments section. I can't remember your names, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, I'm starting in El Campus right now because I learned that if I go out to. Uh, yeah, side stories. But, uh, if I go out to. What's it called? Inchime? Was that it? I can't remember right now. But if I go here and then the went to the uh, Temple of Wind, I'll actually get something interesting. So let's check it out. This place is. This is Anshine, land of sand and time. Okay, I got it right, Anshine. Windmills harness power to. Stop right there. Uh huh. The Skyhold is reportedly headed to attack Anshine as we speak. The Prime Minister has given me strict orders not to allow any suspicious personages through the gates. <laughs> Do we look suspicious? Just tell the Prime Minister that Tiz seeks an audience. Yeah, and idiot too! <laughs> what sort of fool do you take me for? Huh. huh? You'll have to do better than that, you dirty Imperial spies. What? Why, if I had a peek for every tiz and idiot who came here since just this morning, I'd be a rich man. Huh. There was even this guy who said he knew the jackal. He had a weird sundial or something on his head. Weird sundial on his head. Weird sundial on his head. I can't remember right now. I sent him away, of course. Just like I'm sending you. Now scram. There's no getting past this guy. Let's come back another time. Why, you? Oh, we'll be back! And you'll be sorry! Aw, oh, come on, Adia. <laughs> if I had a beak for every time I heard those exact words. Grr, 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 grr. Let's just go, Idia. Uh-huh. Wow, that was interesting. Why aren't the windmills flowing again? I don't know why. Oh, now I can't even enter. Okay. Now we just need to go down to the Temple of Wind. I bet they'll have the same thing, or same kind of thing. Same kind of thing? Uh... Nothing? Halt, Traveler. I cannot allow you entrance to the Altar of Wind. I'm Eugenie Olja, of the Crystal Guard. I am afraid I have strict orders to allow none save Pope Agnes herself to pass. I'm Idia Lee, Agnes's best friend. Doesn't that count for something? I'm afraid not. Wow. Please be on your way. Okay, this is Tiz, Agnes's boyfriend. That's enough, I think. Let's be on our way. <laughs> yes, rules are rules after all. We're that was good. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was worth it. That was very much worth it. Okay, but uh, back to what we were doing. Okay, now that we've got that done, I've decided that I am going to make my decision. What? Leave them to their fate? Over my dead body. You try to take the gym from here, you're gonna be eating my steel! Well, I wanted to join you! Oh, okay. There we go. Then I, I do get the decision. You're going down, Jackal. Call yourself heroes? Puh. Come on out, you goons! Oh, well, it's good to see it's not the kid. And here I was doing honest work for a change. I should have seen the double cross coming. The jackal's looking out for more than himself now. And we're gonna steal back what's ours. Oh, don't be like that, buddy. Well, I think it's fair to say that first off, we need an accurate assessment on the situation. 
And actually, before that, let's go ahead and get some defenses up in here. Oh, that's right, I switched out for spiritual magic over holy magic with Magnolia. I thought I still had defensing stuff so I could go defensive, but oh well. Oh, this is my grinding gear. Whoops, no wonder. Yeah, this is my grinding set. My bad. Well, I'm stuck with it. Hey! Could steal my potions. Those guys hit hard. Like, really hard. Was that steal health? Alright, I think we can do something about that. Let's see how well a double heal works on all allies. That works pretty damn well. Ooh! And by the way, you guys told me how what I was doing wrong with the uh, crap with the spirit magic thing. So uh, actually, before that, now nah, I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up some tornado as needle on the desert vigilante. Oh wait, no, no, no. First I need to go for Tornado, cast as is, and then I need to Spellcraft Tornado as Needle, and then it will cast as as Wind Wind Needle or something like that, right? Right, guys? That's what you were telling me before? Wait, not you. Here we go. Go for it. Ow! Yep, there it is. Oh my god, he's so he's in so much pain right now. Well, that's okay because I have a special hack and slash. Let's go after Jackal, why not? Magnolia can rejuvenation. And Tiz is going for the Wolfang Solar Aurox, uh, or Goring Aurox combos. Go for it. Thank you, Stand Ground. Oh, God. Oh, wait, this is a uh, revival now, I remember. There we go. Now you're gonna get it. All right, let's keep that up. Tornado cast as is, and more tornado as needle. And Adia is absolutely going for Goring Aurox. Couple Tramples. And finally, a uh, Wolf Fang, I believe. Magnolia can. Healing Magic is at 200%, so I could probably get away with just one. And default. Ah! There we go. Piercing bolt, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Stop stealing my potions. Here I go. 
Boom. 2001, damn. Are they low on HP or something? Because they're doing Final Strike a lot, and that sounds like a desperation move to me. Stop it! Alright, you want to be like that? Let's go with another hack and slash, jerk! Oh, down goes Jackal. Some heroes, you chumps are. You didn't actually die, right, buddy? I am loving this tur this double tornado spell. And Adia has got this combo down to a science. Loving this fencer stuff. I'm I'm actually glad I can finally put it to good use. Down he goes. And down he goes too. And for that, we get all our potions back. Did that say seven potions? And a thief asterisk. High agility can act early turns favors daggers. Ah, I got it. Good old Godspeed Strike is back. Yep, pretty much the same as before. Let's check out the skills after the cutscene. The Oasis must have almost run dry by now. I'm afraid so. You look busy. I take it they approved your research project? Yes, thanks to you. We're ordering the latest equipment and recruiting new students to join the research team. And Professor DeRosa is off on a globetrotting lecture tour, right? Yes, exactly. You wouldn't believe how quickly things are moving. Listen. He's explaining how the new energy will be a deterrent to war, how we're going to develop a whole new energy policy, and... and... Just shut up for a second! Thank you. Huh? When DeRosa gets back, I want you to tell him something important. And I want you to remember this, too. Your precious research is only possible because we took water away from the people in the desert. Sharing your ideals is all well and good, as is your dream to build a future without war. But never ever forget that real people are suffering in the here and now for the sake of your research. Thank God that it's not going to be like the like uh, you guys told me in the comments that like I would actually see like people dying in the street because of this choice, and thank God I don't actually have to see it. And that your dream is built on their sacrifice. Right. I won't forget. And and I promise you, I won't give up until we succeed. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I know the old red creep is relying on you to help make this dream a reality. And us too. We're looking forward to seeing this future of yours. Damn well, it better be good for all the lives it cost. Well, let's go see the repercussions for ourselves over at the Oasis. I'm sure we'll have some kind of co uh, commentary. Nothing? Alright, well, let's check out the, uh... Let's check out Yu's Diary. Bestiary, bosses, and the Jackal. Here we go. Head of Desert Security... Or just a punk running wild. He still seems pretty suspect. Well, that's no big surprise. Jackal was a thief, after all. Let's see. 
He's an Antrim native, and he's 19, just like Tiz. Oh, I didn't know he was 19. Oh, and he hates uncooked vegetables, just like you. I think you've forgotten to mention that there was also part... He was also... Yeah. He was also part of Cameron Profiteer Merchantry, and sure, he was one of Eternia's tools. What? And K the K&P Merchantry was working for Eternia? I never knew that. <laughs> They're having a little conversation in the bestiary. That is cool, I did not know that. Really? That's the part... That's the only part that gets a reaction? I suppose people in Al Campus would be familiar with the merchantry being so close by. Fine, to sum it up, the king, together with his lackey profiteer, raised the price of water in Anchheim until the poor child was no longer for afford to buy any. Then, when the people went to the oasis to collect their own water, Jackal would rob them. Oh, that's pretty evil. Well, Jackal was a bit of a sad story of his own. He was abandoned by his own parents and mistreated by his relatives, so... Yeah, he didn't look... He didn't... He did look after any kids... Yeah, and he did look after any kids who were abandoned just like he once was. Hmm, a sympathetic villain. Cruel and yet kind. A former thief and head of security in the desert? He seems a very complicated man. He's still alive, right? Uh... He sought to restore a wellspring and gem and relics supplied by water the oasis and residence deserts, blah, 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 blah. Medea decided it should be used for energy research instead. The jackal lost his cool and confronted us in battle. But we didn't actually kill him, right? Right? Well, I hope he didn't. Anyway, I was kind of expecting us to see more repercussions about, um... About the people, uh, dying of thirst. But, uh, I guess... Yeah, they really did cut that out, didn't they? Well, hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye!